Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Gerino 1080p Cube 4 projector. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'll get the shrink wrap off here first. Let's get this open here. Here we have a thank you, a warranty card, a quick start guide, and we have some stickers. Okay, let me get this out. To move this back a little way so I have some room. So we got the projector out. Here's the bottom of the box. There's some accessories. The power supplies down here. Remote control. Power cable. We have carrying straps. There's two different carrying straps. And it came with batteries for the remote. Take a quick look at the power supply here. The output on this is 19 volts at 6.32 amps and it's 120.08 watts. And here's a little closer look at the remote. It feels very nice. And here's the projector itself. So let's get this unpackaged. So I think I'm going to put a handle on here. I like this blue handle here. So it looks like I can put it on like this. There we go. Now we can carry it. This is almost a little slippery to hold just like this. So it's nice that this has this handle, makes it a little easier to grip and carry. So we have a button here on the top. On the back, we have this big vent and we have ports. We have DC, it says LED. I assume that's a status light, USB, IR, HDMI, type C in and headphones. And there's something else on the headphone speaker. Okay. And here's the lens on the front. It says portable movie theater and pull off the plastic here. The little tab came off without the plastic film. I'll pull it off separate. There we go. And then on the bottom, we have some rubber feet and we have a tripod mount. So some specs on this. So this projector has some cool features on it. So this is a 1080p projector. It does support 4K input. So if you put a uh, ultra Blu-ray into this or some 4K device, it can downsample that. It's 500 lumen. This has Android TV 9 on it. So this would have essentially like a smartphone built into it almost. And the really cool feature about this, it has an auto setup mode. So I'm going to read through the quick start guide here and get this set up and then I'll go over the features. Okay, so I have the projector and my camera pointing at the wall. We're about eight feet from the wall. The screen is a hundred inch screen, but I'm not quite filling it out. So I'll turn this on. And I don't know how well the camera is going to capture this, but it says Gerino here. Okay. Okay, so now it's going through a calibration sequence. So it puts that image up on the screen, it calibrates it to autofocus it, and the focus is very sharp right now. It's very impressive. So many languages on here, I'll choose English. It says quickly set up your TV with your Android phone. So I don't use an Android phone, so I'll skip this. It wants me to set up my Wi-Fi network. Now this does support 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi. So that's a nice feature. Okay, we're connected to the internet. It says make the most of your TV, sign in to get new apps, recommendations, movies, and more from Google. So I'll sign in. Okay, so I'm logged in. I logged in with my Google account and it sent two-factor authentication to my other device. I accepted that, I'll accept the terms. I'm not going to share my location right now. It says help improve Android. I'm gonna say no to that right now. It says get better voice control of your TV. I'll hit continue. A few things you should know. It talks about services and privacy. I'll hit continue. It says get personal results. I'll turn this off right now and I'll say no to the emails. It says your Gerino Cube 4 is powered by Android TV. Let's walk through the features of your device. I'm just using the direction pad on the remote to go through this. So it has the Google Play Store, has Google Assistant, and it has Chromecast built in. So here we have Android TV. So a very cool thing about this projector is on a lot of budget projectors, you have to plug in another device like a Roku or a Fire TV to get content on it. This has these apps built in. So we have Prime Video, Netflix, YouTube, Google Play. So let's look at more apps. So these are the apps here. We have Play, YouTube, Chrome, Hulu, Tubi, iMir, eShare Server, Lean Key Keyboard, Prime Video, Disney Plus, MX Player, Netflix, Emotion Store, and Kodi. Wow, this is quite the spread of applications. It has everything from Disney Plus to Kodi. So let's see if these are installed on here. Yes, it's already installed. So that's very nice. Kodi is a very powerful media player. You can play movies, pictures, music, you name it. So let's go to YouTube. Okay, so I'm logged into my YouTube account. It's kind of hard to find video I can display on here. A lot of video content is copywritten, so I can play my own video content on here, which is nice. Let's look at this here. So 
So the speaker on here sounds very good. Let me turn it up. Wow, that's very impressive. I'll cut forward here a little bit. I want a more vibrant video. I think it was this one. Let's try this one. There we go. Okay, so that looked really good. I was impressed with that. So I'm going to try plugging in a computer to see how that works. Okay, so I plugged in my HDMI device. Okay, so if we go up to the settings, we can go to source. And I can choose HDMI 2. So I just have a spreadsheet up here with some numbers on it. I don't know how well this is coming through on the camera. I do have some wrinkles in my screen too, by the way. But the numbers here are very easy to read on all four corners of the display. Probably a little bit trickier to read the menu items. It might just be my eyes. It looks a little blurry in the upper left and upper right. The center is pretty sharp. It's very readable still. But I'd say that looks very good. So let me hit the home button on the remote. Okay, I'll try the voice assistant. How's the weather? Currently in Des Moines, it's 35 degrees and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be sunny. What time is it? It's 9.56 a.m. Show me funny videos. Okay, so that seems to work. So I don't use the Android Assistant a lot. If you're familiar with it, you could probably know exactly what you can do with it. Let me go back to the home screen. Well, let's go up here to the settings. So we have network settings. We have, and we have Bluetooth and remotes, so we can add an accessory. So this has a couple of different Bluetooth features. You can connect up things like speakers to it, but you can also use it as a Bluetooth speaker. So say you have this sitting in your den or office and you want to just listen to some music on the speaker built into this, you can use that feature without using the projector itself. And we have mouse mode. It says long press the OK for three seconds to enter the mouse mode. Okay. So I could turn that on. That would turn it into a mouse cursor I could use with the remote, like if I'm using certain apps. Now I'm guessing you can hook a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse up to this too. And we have source, we already saw that. We have language, projection mode. So this has the four standard modes you'd expect out of this. You can project from the front or rear of a screen, and then you can turn it upside down. So if you had it hanging from the ceiling, it would be oriented correctly. We have autofocus, that is on. Keystone automatic, four keystone. We have zoom, aspect mode, sound, we have date, time, storage, and we have update. So it says updates available. I'm not going to do that on here, but you do want to make sure you keep it up to date. There could be new features and such. Now I'm going to plug a flash drive in here. Oh, okay, it took a second. I don't know that that's going to show up on the desktop here, so I'll try one of these apps, if like MX Player. I like that they have all these built in. It's asking if I want to allow it to access the media. I'll say allow. I'm going to say not upgrade now. Although if I wasn't doing a video, I would definitely upgrade. So here's a flag on a loop. I had this for Independence Day. Let's try it. So there we go. See what else we have here. Here's a train. So that worked nicely. So let's go to the Google Play Store and we can see the different apps we can download. So you could even install games on here. I think basic games, let's see, tools, lifestyle sorts. So these are some of the apps you can download on here that you can see through. So to turn this off, I'll just press the power button. It has sleep restart shutdown and timer shutdown. So I can just sleep this. And then I can press the power button to wake it up. But I'm going to shut it down for right now. Let me go ahead and get the light.
So I have a power meter hooked up to this, and when it was running, it was drawing around 100 watts. So I have a portable power station that has 250 watt hours that are usable. So a station of that size would run this off a of battery for two and a half hours. If, so if you're wanting to do like backyard movie night, you could plug this into a power station pretty easily, so long as you have a decent sized one. So this does have a button on the top to turn it on. And if you hold that down, you can turn it into the Bluetooth speaker mode. So you hold that down, then you go up to your device and go to your Bluetooth settings and find the Gerino speaker, and that will turn it into a Bluetooth speaker. Speaker. So that's a nice little thing. So if you have your little porch or patio, you want a Bluetooth speaker, you can take this out there, plug it in, and you can have some music. So while this is off, this is drawing between zero and say 0 0.5, 0 0.3 watts. So it has pretty low standby energy usage. So that's nice. So that's the Gerino Cube 4 1080p projector. So I have to say, I was very impressed with the image quality of this. I was skeptical of the autofocus mode. I mean, how well is that gonna work? And it worked great. You can hear the little motor in there adjusting. It brings up that little calibration screen and it adjusts it and it just looks great. This is like super easy to use. I was very impressed. I was also impressed with the Android TV on here. Sometimes devices like this can have dumbed down versions of it that don't have all the good apps. This had the good apps in it. It had Netflix, had YouTube. Well, that's obviously gonna have YouTube, but it had uh, Amazon Prime it had Disney Plus, Voodoo, has all the good apps on there. So I see little reason to connect up a external media device to this. That being said, I don't know if the Android TV is going to be upgraded over the years, so it might get out of date, and then some of the apps might quit working, but this still has that HDMI in the back. So say five, 10 years from now, if the software inside of it goes out of date, you can still plug in other devices and still use it. So it's hard to put software in a device that will last forever, but it is nice that it doesn't become obsolete afterwards. You can just use it like a standard projector. But having that Android TV in there makes it super versatile. All the features you can put on it, web browsers, just network tools, you name it. I mean, the sky's the limit on what you can do with this and it's all built right in. And I just love the build quality of it. It feels really solid. So this does have some heft to it, and I did have it on a projector during my test, and it was fine, but you need to be careful. You don't want kids running around it, knocking it over and stuff. So if you're kind of looking towards budget projectors, but you want something a little more, I think this is a great option. You can get cheaper projectors, but they're not going to have the autofocus feature. They're not going to be as sharp as this one. So this could be good for backyard movie night, but you could also use this if you're building a home theater in your home on a budget. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.